Man, it is hot today to be doing a video. I don't know if you can see that, but that's sweat. These are the brand new flight cages. I swear it feels like I just cleaned this the other day. And look at how messy everything is once again. Today, we're making some changes to the bird room. Usually, when I record my videos, I'm right here. I'm sitting at this table, I got my microphone right there. And this is usually the angle that you get. You see the birds in the background. You get to enjoy all the loud noise that these birds make while I record these videos and talk to you guys. But we're about to make some changes in this bird room because to be honest with you, I'm tired of the mess that I constantly have on this table. And this is space that I desperately need for flight cages. So what I ended up doing was I took away the desk from the bird room, brought it inside. Now I have this extra space in here where I'm gonna be building some flight cages. The only dilemma that I have is how to build the fly cages and out of what material. I can either do wood or I can do aluminum. Now each one has its pros and its con. Wood is going to be a simple build. It's also going to be cheap. Aluminum, it's going to be a little bit more expensive and harder to build since I don't know how to weld, so I have to outsource the job. With wood, it may get dirty more often. It's going to be harder to clean. You can't just spray it down and wash it. With aluminum, you can wheel them out at the end of the year, spray it down, and you're as good as clean. So what I ended up doing was going the aluminum route. All right, guys, we just got a call from the welder. The cage frames are ready to be picked up. So let's go grab them. I'm excited about this. Man, it is hot today to be doing a video. I don't know if you can see that, but that's sweat. These are the brand new flight cages. I am so excited with them. The guy that welded them did an amazing job. They look great. They still have a bit of work to go, unfortunately, He's very busy, so he couldn't put the mesh for me. That is something that I'll have to do myself. I also have to add the wheels, but here are both of the flights. They measure six feet long, six foot tall, and two feet wide. The doors on these flights are guillotine style, so they go straight up and down, and there are two doors. We have one at the top, and we have one all the way at the bottom. This is gonna give me easy access, for example, to put the food down low, and this is gonna help the birds get the exercise they need because the birds have to fly from the top to the bottom to eat. And then they have to fly back up to perch. Now, the only thing that I have to figure out is what type of mesh am I gonna use? Am I gonna use quarter inch, like the one that I have back there for the outdoor aviary, or am I gonna use a bigger mesh like half inch? If I use a quarter inch, it's gonna be a smaller mesh. That may cause some problems as the birds molt in these cages since they are gonna be put in here after the breeding season. So the birds are gonna to have to go through their molt. The feathers are gonna have a harder time leaving the cage and they may get stuck to the mesh. I could do half inch, they're gonna be a little bit bigger, but then when I go to connect it with the actual aluminum here, it's gonna be harder because it's a bigger hole. So I'm not sure exactly how it is that I'm gonna put those rivets to connect it to this. I do want to put the mesh on the interior part, not the exterior, because the last thing that I want is the birds landing on this and pooping on here. So it's going to be a little bit harder to put the mesh on the inside, but overall it's going to look nicer. I also have to put some wheels on it so it's easier to roll around inside of the bird room and position them the way that I want to. But as you can see, these things are big. I hate to show you how big they are because these are six foot tall and I, I wish I could say I was six foot tall. I'm like 5'10", 5'11", on a good day. Right now I'm wearing sandals, I don't have my high heels, so I'm not as tall as I usually am. But, um, but these, these are great. They're big enough for the birds. They're gonna love it. They're gonna go through their molt in here. They're gonna spend the majority of the year in here exercising, getting ready for the following season. And I think overall it's gonna be a great build. So let's get these inside of the bird room so that you can see how it is that they're gonna be positioned and how they'll look. And this is what they're gonna look like inside of the bird room. As you can see, they cover the same exact area where I used to have the table. Now, rather than having that table filled with junk on top of it, now I have something that's a little bit more suitable for this bird room. I have two large flights that are gonna allow me to place all of my males in one side and all of my females in the other side at the end of the breeding season. Now, this is gonna give them all of the space that they need in order to molt and continue exercising so that they are prepared for the following breeding season. All right, now as you can see with this section right here, there's a gap, there's about a one inch gap and I had two options for this gap. I can either make a tray that I slide in and out and I would have to 
take it outside, scrape it like I have to do with the center cages, or I can build a paper roll system for these flights the same exact way that I have them for the cages behind you. And that's exactly what I'll end up doing. I'm gonna do something that holds up the paper roll that's gonna be two foot long, same diameter as these flights, and it's gonna roll through this bottom section from one side all the way to the other, where I can pull the paper and it'll be as simple as that in order to clean it. Now on top of this section, I have to put the mesh that doesn't allow the birds to go down into that area. The mesh that I plan on putting down here is gonna be a bit thicker. I think it's gonna be the one inch by half inch, and that's gonna allow the poop to fall down and not get accumulated on top of the mesh. For this bottom section, if I decide to put half inch or quarter inch, the poop's not gonna go through to the bottom it's gonna pile up on top and it's gonna become a pain where I have to constantly scrape that area in order to clean it. So the one inch by half inch style mesh is gonna allow that to go down easier and it'll make things simpler when it comes time to clean. All right guys, well that's it. This is gonna be the end of the video. The flights are in their location. Make sure to subscribe for future videos where I'll be showing you guys exactly how it is that I finished building these flights. We still have a lot of work to go. We still need to put the mesh we still need to put the flooring. We still need to do the wheels. There's a lot that needs to go into this before they're prepared. Go to the comment section too and let me know what you guys think. Did it look better with the table here or does it look better now with these flights? Personally, I think that the flights are a bit more useful for what I need them and they're gonna serve a great purpose in this bird room. They're located in this wonderful 90 degree area of the bird room that receives a lot of sunlight because of these windows and that is something that the birds need. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed the video. Like always, remember to hit a thumbs up, like and subscribe, and we will see each other in the next one. Bye.